Welcome back to the branch. All right, let's let's fight this guy again. I should have come in with a charge shot, huh? That would have been smart. If, if you were smart, you. I could have come in like a wrecking ball, but now I'm gonna get wrecked. So I'm... Look, I took one one little measly health off of him. It could have been two. Is there? I don't think he has any weaknesses either. I'm pretty no, sure. No, that's he's why you just... use Buster on it. Yeah. Also, once again, assigning gender roles to something that clearly does not have a gender. I don't know. It looks kind of masculine, right? It's got those big angry teeth and. No, it looks like a fucking robot. Is that... it a super fighting robot like Mega Man? I mean, <laughs> technically, I mean, it shoots little like laser beams and has hover feet and teethies. <laughs> I loved that cartoon as a kid, the Mega Man cartoon. It's so bad. Have you it's, seen it? It's so bad, but it's so good. It's, it's the Power Glove so bad. It's, it, it's classically good. Yes. Because Ooh. it's bad. And you get... Getting, whoa! Get that's, my ass beat. That fucking snapped into place. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty rough. He's, he's, he's a quick not. one. He's a feisty one. He's angry. <laughs> Look at him chomp. Now Ow. you're assigning emotions to a robot. That's just how he's painted, okay? Jeez. I mean... What 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 if what if the robot is just a big ball of like anger, like what what it, <laughs> that's what it's fueled by pure rage. I am fueled by rage. <laughs> this this is the end. This is the end, my friend. Something like that. I don't know what I was going for. I don't know what you were going for either. I, I typically don't go for anything. It I, just, it I just think happens. this is the I think this was the last level. I think it's Sigma after this. That's what you said last time, but I... No, no, I didn't say that last... Oh, you mean yesterday. I thought that yes. might be the last one. Well, we'll find out, and, and On sorry. On now. I'm yeah, have to it's do... Sigma. How, how much life do I have? Um, You have one empty sub-tank. Uh, one and a half. One and a half. All right. Well, while I grind this up, because I don't feel like exiting out and going to Armored Armadillo's level where you can be a little more efficient, tell me about your favorite creative sci-fi alien species. Oh, me and Jamie talked about this, Mike. Yes, I know. I had to listen in on that. <laughs> You had to listen in on that? Yeah, because I had to edit the episode. Well, you make it sound like it was torture. It was. <laughs> Listening to you guys fucking drone on about... Well, tell us um, how you really feel. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't really have a favorite, like, this is an alien species, and it is my favorite because X. It's just, like... I, I kind of more appreciate just, like, the design of, like, different creatures. I can't really say that I have a favorite... I can tell you things that I don't like. Okay, good, let's go for that. Things that are ultra fucking complicated and annoying. Like what? Like the xenomorph aliens that have like yeah. eight stages of life that all depend on humans? Yeah, L like that. Or like Metroids in Metroid 2 that have like eight different stages of development. That... I haven't seen those. Oh, okay. Oh, you should play another Metroid 2 remake. We can't play it on the show because it's... Uh... It's you know it's so hardly copyright. copyright infringement. Well, well, I mean it is copyright. It just straight up is copyright infringement. Nintendo has every right to take that down. Uh, they shouldn't, but they have every right to. Right. So I have bad news. We're not going to hear it when the sub tanks get full because the TV's turned way down. Well, you can just pause it and look. Yeah, but I think that takes away my shield, doesn't it? Nope. Oh, apparently it's full. Yay! <laughs> to to the sigma. Yay! But um, yeah, because so in between. Working, editing the channel, editing episodes, listening in a, on episodes, and just generally working like 90 hours a week. Um, occasionally I'll help like friends get flat colors done on art and stuff like that. Okay. And there are many creatures that have come my way that are just absolutely the bane of my existence. Oh, you mean they have, like, lots of extra doodads on the on Just, like, things bodies. for no reason. It's like, what the fuck do you even what, do? Why do you have antennas and big floppy ears at the same time? Why do you have, like, stripes in ways that shouldn't be striped? <laughs> that doesn't make... No. Because they want it to look cool. Yes, but it's, it's, it's like Sonic OCs. They're just... Fucking <laughs> terrible. So, and so dumb. like My Little Pony OCs. Those are the worst. Yeah, that's it's right up there. Like nobody, I, I have seen My Little Pony OCs, and nobody could ever make one that has colors that look right for the cartoons. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's always just like random, gross, clashing colors. Well, because everyone chooses like either like a fluorescent fucking ass color <laughs> or like mud. And, and they're monochrome, too. Yeah. Or they're the fucking puke-inducing nightmares that are just like, 
I picked every color. <laughs> I couldn't decide on one, so I just went with all of them. Yeah, so, sounds good to me. So we're, we're coming up on the final boss here. Already? Like the final, final boss. Yeah, the game's almost over. See, aren't you glad we, we, we put that last boss? Yeah. Of that last level in? We, we're going to be starving for content here. Are we? We're just so I think gonna, I think, on our own. I, I think you're going to fuck it up. I <laughs> think I'm going to die and we're going to have to start it all over. Uh, oh, I do have to point out the thing that I mentioned. I, uh, I'm going to be really safe here because I don't remember how much life he takes off. A lot. So I'm going to sub-tank a lot here. Yeah. Come on. Uh, looks like four or five bars. Um, I do have to mention the, what I mentioned the first time we ever did this. Yeah. The the whole boss-like construction that Sigma has going on right now uh -huh. looks like fucking Majora's Mask. Does it? Oh, yeah, it kind of does. It's got the spikies and, like, the colors and... Capcom, Super Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's your design. It even has, like, little, like, almost eyes, kind of. Yeah, it does. Like, get, get on it, Capcom. The, the, this is your OC, Sigma, not Majora. <laughs> Do not steal. They stole. Nintendo stole. Just like but, everyone was afraid of their OC happening to their OCs. All right, I'm going to do one more for, this for gotta safety. Be safe. Yeah, we, Cause, he's, he's got one more hit on him. Because remember, Mega Man can't shoot up. All right, yay, we did it. Really high, quiet high five. That wasn't really super quiet. You put, like, all the force on I, I wanted to at least pick up on the mic. Okay, I mean, fine, silent high five. There you go. Now nobody heard it. That's great radio. Oh, yes. yeah, he's... He's whining that we beat him. Sorry, we, we have to go through it. No, monologue. I'm so mad. How could you? Yes, yes. You blew it up, you mean. Oh, <laughs> I had a floating island so, for some reason. So let me point out how gorgeous this game was in 1993. Like, th this is, like, let me segue it in. Because this was gorgeous. And in general, console games were prettier than PC games for maybe like the first three or four years after a console's release. Like, they were just better looking. And and we still, like, to this day, when a new console comes out, the games are about as good looking as the game, you know, as the what the PCs PC. can put out. But we have all these, like, PC Master Race bros. And, I mean, I'm a bit of a PC Master Race bro. I, I love, you know, what do I play right now? Overwatch, Overwatch, Hearthstone. So, like, I get it. I prefer to play games on it. But look at look at Overwatch, which released this year. Right. It doesn't look much better on the PC than it does on the consoles. It's, I actually haven't seen it on the consoles. It runs at a slightly higher resolution. There are a few more effects on the PC. You've got to invest a lot of money into that PC. It does look better, and you can go higher resolutions. But well, if you if you take like an old person that hasn't seen a video game in ten years, and you put the PC version next to the you know PlayStation Four version, and at, say you know ask them which one looks better. They're not even going to be able to tell you unless they've got an eye for frame rates and, you know... Or they've had, like... And resolutions. They're really into art or graphic yeah, design or yeah. anything that would give them a hint towards that. It's, They'd be it's, like, they look about the same to me. It's just not that extreme. Now, it's still better to play Overwatch with a mouse and keyboard. Did you know that you can't hook a mouse and keyboard up to a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One? Yeah, that's correct. Why not? Those drivers ex have existed for how long? And I, I mean, doesn't the Xbox One run on Windows 10 now? I think it does. Like, it's right there. It's built in. Why won't you let people play FPSs with a mouse and keyboard if they want to on a console? Tactical advantage. I guess, but, you know... Because, you know... You can so look... separate it out by who's playing with a mouse and keyboard versus who's playing with a controller. Anyway. Because, you know... Oh, we've got to know the names of all the bad guys. b Blader. That's the B. Mm. Um, I was going to say... You know, just because you're playing on a mouse and keyboard, you know, we, we can't... There's no way we can increase the sensitivity on a, a on a controller to make it so that you can look around faster with a controller. No, not at all. Why Why would we do something like that? <laughs> That's definitely not making the game fair. We, we could so do that. I, I personally think let people... You're going to get sorted into the skill level that your controller puts you into anyway. Like, if you have an inferior control method, that you'll just be lower on the on the ranking system. Just let or people higher, that depending way. if you're good at it. Right, but, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, people would naturally sort. And I'm not just... This is not just Overwatch I'm talking about. It's any FPS. Let everyone play together, and if someone's really good with a, con you know, with a controller, they're going to be up there with the mouse and keyboard players. Because there are some people that are really fucking up there with controllers. Yeah, who was it? Was it Jim Sterling? 
that said that he'd re- he preferred Overwatch with a controller, which seems totally bizarre to me because that game was developed with a mouse and keyboard in mind. They weren't originally going to port that game, I don't think. No, I don't think they were. At least they didn't announce it until Late six months before the game came out. Yeah. When they were so like, there you go, Sparkman Drill. When they were like, hey, you know, we can make a couple extra like $100,000 off this by porting it to uh, PS4 and Xbox. You mean like a hundred million extra dollars by porting it? I don't fucking know. Do I look like Blizzard? <laughs> I don't know how much. I would extra do it for a couple hundred made. thousand dollars uh, at profit, sure. And oh wait, wait. Here's the cool part. It was charging up the pink X bus. That's that's so you remember. You've got part of zero with you now, except we don't because we picked it up in a random level. Yeah, it's it's just the X buster, not the Z buster. <laughs> That, well, it was called the Z Saber in later games, if I recall. Ow, Wasn't it? Fucking no. There's, there's too much, too many things. This music is so out of place. Is it? Can have you heard this music? Like, actually turned up the volume and listened. I think so. It's like bleepy, bloopy, jazzy kind of like happy do- lounge music. It doesn't sound like victory music. <laughs> doesn't sound like anything. It certainly doesn't sound like Mega Man music. Here, listen. It's not very chip tuny. No, it's it's just out of place. And and what's that TV there for? I wonder. Hmm. See, the first time it's I ever so played through this, so out of place. The first time I actually played through this, I didn't even notice that that was a TV. W- what did you think it was? I thought it was just decoration, and I shut it off before I even saw anything happen. Oh, you never it. saw the epilogue? No. Well, I mean, last time we tried recording this a year ago. Hmm. I did, because you pointed it out, and then I was like, oh, huh, I didn't know that. Weird. And I think we have to wait. I don't think pressing a button does anything. We just have to wait for the music to stop playing. So maybe it was an Easter egg, but look, it's Thanks for Playing, presented by Capcom, takes up a third of the screen. Why is that? Yes, why indeed. Because the rule of thirds? (laughs) Yes, they were thinking from uh, from a graphic design standpoint. What can offset the thank you for playing uh, sal- salutation? No, salutation is like a welcome. What's, what's the um, opposite of a salutation? An endutation. Oh, no, no. Is it? I don't fuck. <laughs> I just made that up. Oh, oh, look. See, look at him. He's got a douche bro grin. No, he's doing, he's definitely doing the. Ooh, he wants to find strong bodies, Ameret. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> strong enough to do his bidding, if you know what I mean. Stop that, you. (laughs) And that's the game. The end. The end. And Sigma was never seen again. Never? Never. Not even X. Never seen again. What about X6? Never seen again. What about X7? Never seen again. Next time on the branch, never seen again. What about X8? What about X9? (laughs) 